Cowboys. The 49ers beat the Dallas Cowboys 19-12 to on Sunday night. And now Brock Purdy now has many playoff wins as Dak Prescott in both careers. Wrap your head around that. So way or no way, guys, it is time to blow up the Dallas Cowboys and start from scratch. Blow up the Dallas Cowboys and start from scratch. Huh. Let's think about this. The Dallas Cowboys had the number one scoring offense in the NFL the last two seasons. The Dallas Cowboys have had a top 10 defense the last two seasons. They had a offensive coordinator last year was good that was uh, up to, up due for many many head coaching opportunities. This year again they have a defensive coordinator up for many many head coaching opportunities, which he'll probably end up going to Denver again. Uh, interviewing that for that job, job again, but we digress from that. We'll talk about that later if and when that happens. But is it time to blow up the Dallas Cowboys way or no way? I would not say it is time to blow up the Dallas Cowboys lid, but let me waffle around this answer a little bit. It is time to move on from said quarterback uh, the name of Dak Prescott. It is time to move on from said running back by the name of Ezekiel Elliott. Did you guys hear me? Let me say it again one more time. It is time to move on from Dak Prescott. It is time to move on from Ezekiel Elliott. It has been proven over and over and over again that once a mediocre player gets a $100 million deal, their career is basically over. Matthew Stafford, $100 million deal. What did he do for the, uh, the, for, for, the, for the Detroit Lions moving forward? Absolutely dog crap. He had to get traded to become relevant again. Matt Ryan, $100 million quarterback. What has he done since he signed that deal? Oh, he blew a 28-3 to lead in the Super Bowl, and now he got benched by a rookie quarterback in, in Indianapolis. The, the proof is in the pudding. Kurt Cousins, $100 million quarterback. What has he done for, for you? Oh, lost in the first-round playoffs again? Guys, it is definitely time to semi-blow up the Dallas Cowboys. It is time to see what you can get out of Dak Prescott in the trade value market there, right? There are many teams out there looking for a quarterback. Carolina Panthers, the New York Football Jets. We can go with the Green Bay Packers. I said it last year, Dak Prescott to the Green Bay Packers makes sense. Dallas Cowboys make that trade right now. Aaron Rodgers to the Dallas Cowboys makes the most sense. Yes, Vegas sounds enticing. San Francisco 49ers sounds enticing on paper, but that's not going to happen. They have Brock Purdy and Trey Lance and Jimmy G. They have plethora of running backs or uh, quarterbacks over, like, like, oh, over there. Hell, let's, let's take it one step further. Let's look at the Baltimore Ravens. That, that might be an intriguing trade. But yes, it is time to move on from Dak Prescott. He has proven to you that he is a game-managing, mediocre quarterback. I'm not saying that is a bad thing. A game-managing quarterback is not a bad thing. What is a bad thing is when you have an offensive coordinator that tries to treat you like an an elite game-winning quarterback when you're a game-managing quarterback. Obviously, I like Kellen Moore's offense, the highest-scoring offense in the NFL, top five NFL offense, right, year in and year out. Don't, Don't change your ways, right? Just get a new quarterback. That's the easiest thing. Number two, Zeke Elliott. Zeke Elliott is a no longer a one-trick pony. He, you have to have yin and yang with Zeke Elliott. Tony Pollard is a damn good running back. Guess he broke his leg last night, but he'll be back and he'll, and he'll be fine. He is up for a contract. He's probably going to get his contract from the Dallas Cowboys. If not, Josh Jacobs is, is out there and the Dallas Cowboys will bring him in. Get what you get. See what you can get for Zeke. Chicago Bears, get your boy. Get Zeke Elliott. Bring him in. Guys, it is 100% time for the Cowboys to semi-blow this up. Get Zeke out of town. Get Dak out of town. Build around Tony Pollard and CeeDee Lamb. 
do it. Rookie quarterback, Brees Young, uh, CJ Stroud. Hell, I love Will Levitz from Kentucky. Bring his ass in there. Good God, make it happen at the end of the day. 